guys, Jordy here from Premiere Basics, and today you're gonna learn how to create a text animation which you can use in your YouTube videos, for example. All right, let's animate ourselves into Premiere Pro. First, we're gonna make a background for the title animation. Click on the new item button and select color mats. Then click OK and pick a background color. Let's call it blue. Drag and drop it into Premiere, and now we're going to create a vignette on it. Go to the menu on top, select window, and then Lumetri color. All the way on the bottom, you'll see vignette, and you wanna slide this slider here to the left. That way you have a simple vignette and if you would like to customize the look of that, you have these sliders down here. All right, that's a beautiful vignette. Now let's create that text animation. Select the text tool or just hit T on your keyboard. Then click on your background and type your text. For us, that's gonna be Premiere Basics, of course. And once you typed in your text, click on its selection tool. With the text layer selected, navigate to Window and click on the Essential Graphics. Then click on the Edit tab. Now in this window, we're going to adjust the text layer. Position your text to the middle of the frame by clicking these two buttons and of course through these options you can further choose how to stylize your text that's up to you now let's find the basic 3d effect and drop it onto the text because we're going to use that to make our text twirl or the letters twirl. All right, let's start with that animation. Navigate to the first frame and set the tilt control to 90 degrees. That way your text will disappear. Now enable the keyframe stopwatch and move a little bit further to the right. Then set tilt to something like two times zero. So it rotates a few times around its own axis. That's a good start. Now to let your letter come in smoothly, you wanna right click on the second keyframe and select ease in. That way your text will rotate fast at the beginning and stops gradually as it's approaching the last keyframe. Next, we're gonna search for the crop effect and drop it onto the clip. Select the crop effect in your controls and simply adjust the crop so that it only covers the first letter and that way only that one is visible. All right, we're getting there, guys. Next, add the directional blur to your letters and set the blur length to 20. Then find the part where your letter is moving at its fastest point and set a keyframe. And now set the start and end point to both zeros so that the directional blur is present when your letter is moving. And there you go, your first letter has been animated. And let's do this now for the rest as well, which is actually super easy. You wanna duplicate your clip by holding down the Alt on your keyboard and then dragging it one track higher. This is gonna be our second letter, so it has to come a little slightly after the first. You can move it four frames to the right by holding down Alt and then pressing the right arrow key. Head over to the effects controls and change the crop so that the second letter appears. Now keep doing that same process over and over again for each letter, so you do Duplicate it, you move the crop, and then move on to the next letter. You know, in the meantime, let's play a nice song. And isn't it cool that we can just use this awesome chart song in our video and that without losing monetization? We can thank Licked for that, our sponsor for today's video. Licked has a chart music library where you can download and license your favorite chart songs for a really affordable price. You can then use these songs in your monetized videos on social media platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all 100% claims free. Now, by Licensing and downloading chart music, you're also supporting the artist's music, which is a win-win. And the more people that start using Licked, the more record labels that Licked can assign. Again, a win-win, so many wins, guys. Now, besides the chart music, you can also browse through a super awesome stock music library where you can find over a hundred thousand high quality stock songs, which you can license for your videos as well. You can download complete songs or look for instrumentals and even choose the mood of your song. Now, being able to change the genre, length, and tempo of your song is an absolute game game changer. If you only want to use the stock music library, you can also get a subscription for that. The Lick Chart Music and Stock Library can really step up the quality of every creator's videos. So if you'd like to grow your socials, which I believe you do, and set your videos apart from the rest, you should definitely check out Lick. And you can get 50% discount off your first chart track and 14 days of free stock music using the link in the description down below. So definitely check that out. And now let's change the song. Awesome. All right, let's finish our text animation now. We're gonna add our second text, which is in our case is gonna be just basics. Scale it to your likings and bring the text to the middle by clicking the center buttons. Use the vertical control to push your text underneath the other layer. You can also adjust it by just using the controls on your program monitor like this. All right, drag your clip to the point where you want your second text to come in. For me, that's gonna be right after the premiere text has fully appeared. Then go to the effects controls and animate the position so that the text comes in like this. Again, right click on the second keyframe and select ease in. Then automate the opacity from 0 to 100 and 
look at that. That looks so awesome. Now to further edit our title animation, we're going to select all the text layers together, right click on it and select nest. Now we can apply effects to all of these text layers at once by simply adding them to the nested sequence. You can kind of see it as a group. We can also go ahead now and just readjust the scale and position and all of our text without interfering with the animations. Look for the drop shadow effect in the effects library and drag that to your nested sequence. And just simply change some of these settings to give your text a shadow, a drop shadow to your likings. Next, we're gonna transform our text into a logo by twirling the text around. Apply the basic 3D effect to your text or the nested sequence and navigate to the point where the text has been visible for a few seconds. Then click the stopwatch icon next to the swivel control and now move a few frames forward and make the text swivel to 270 degrees. That way your text will rotate one time and after that it will disappear because you know it's it's aligned like like this to the camera so you can't really see it you know now don't forget to right click and choose ease in on your last keyframe you always want to smoothen out your keyframes guys and now let's add some directional blur to the text and animate the blur length from zero to somewhere around 180 also change the direction to 90 so that your text looks like it's moving to the right direction i mean this is all fairly the same as with the individual letters so that was it for the text now set a marker at the point where your text is going to turn into your logo by pressing m on the keyboard now import your logo and as you drag it into your timeline, make sure that it snaps to that marker. Next up, adjust the scale of the logo and drag the 3D effect again onto that logo now. Go to the swivel effect and click the stopwatch icon. Set it to 90 degrees so that your logo isn't visible. Again, you want to turn it around like that. Then move a few frames to the right and set the swivel to one times zero. That means one rotation. Next again, add the directional blur effect to your logo and you know how this goes. Set the direction to 90 again, animate the blur length and just like like we did before, make it from blurry to not blurry. I mean, I think that is pretty obvious. And now it looks like your text is turning into your logo. How awesome is that, guys? And to top it off, you can also add a drop shadow effect to your logo if you like, so that will make it come loose a little bit more from the background. <laughs> There we go, an awesome, super cool text animation going into a logo or logo animation, whatever you wanna call it. You just learned something new that I'm really sure of. So hit that thumbs up button super hard to this video. That way you're helping out the channel as the YouTube algorithm will recommend our video way more. But thank you so much for doing that. And Lick, thank you so much for the support today. And you, as always, stay creative. Now, here on my left, I got another video, a little video. Why do I always stumble over my words when I start the outro every time? So here's another video, guys, and there is a subscribe button. So go check out these two things. And now, I'm signing off.